All right, guys, I'm back with episode two of my Learn With Me series, where I kind of go through some of the things that I've learned as I get started streaming so that hopefully you don't have to learn them on your own. Uh, today is just going to be a short video about th video thumbnails and how they can add a bit of polish and uh, quality to your channel, whether you're on Twitch or YouTube. So by default, when you upload a video on either platform, you get a thumbnail that kind of looks like this, where it's just a random frame from somewhere in the middle of the video and you have a couple of options of which frame it is, but generally it's nothing really interesting and it doesn't really grab your eye. So I've made it a point to make a thumbnail for every game that I play that looks a little bit more like this. That way people who are scrolling through get a more solidified idea of what the video is and what to expect. So if you wanna take a few minutes here and learn with me, I will go through the methods that I use using OBS only to create these thumbnails in just a few minutes. All right, so now I'm in OBS and I've created a new scene and I only have my webcam uh, inside the scene with my background keyed out. Now keep in mind that you can do this without having a green screen behind you. Um, you just disable your webcam for all of this and then use something like uh, Photoshop, GIMP Shop, or even online, you can use the Pixlr editor, which I'll put a link for you, um, just to take a picture of yourself with your webcam and erase the background around you. So now that I have my empty scene like this, I'm going to go ahead and get started creating a thumbnail as if I were going to play uh, The Evil Within 2, which is a recently released game that everybody's playing. So the first thing that we want to do is get a nice backdrop for our thumbnail. So what I like to do is I go to Google Images and I search for a related image in a 1920 by 1080 resolution. So I'm going to swap over to uh, Chrome real quick right here. And for our example purposes, I'm just going to type in the evil within to 1920 by 1080. And I like to grab a clean image without any text on it if it's possible. So I went ahead and I downloaded this one right here. So back in OBS, I'm going to add an image. And point it to my Evil Within 2. Uh, make sure that the webcam's on top. Okay, so now we have an Evil Within 2 background here for us. Uh, next thing I usually do is something that I always have on there is my name up above. So I'm going to add a text scene and I actually have one already. Uh, I believe yeah, right here. So this is my font and style that I always use for all of my thumbnails. It keeps something consistent throughout each one. And then now we're going to add the name of the game. So I'm going to add another text here and evil within 2 is kind of like a horror game so I like to keep uh, keep everything together thematically so you can go to a website like defont.com browse the horror fonts and see if there's one there that you like but uh, there's one that I'm gonna be using called gypsy curse and I'm just gonna type the evil within 2 now if I just put it in like this it's really small and of course you can resize it but you get a bunch of blurriness with the scaling that it uses. Uh, so when you create this text source, when you're selecting the font, be sure to select a really large font size. That way, no matter what size you have to scale it to within the scene, it always looks nice and crisp. I like doing something really big, like 200 or maybe even 250. That way, whenever you scale it down, We'll put it over here in the corner. It looks nice and crisp. But now we have kind of like a white text on a white background. And I believe in the official uh, game art, there is a uh, red font. So I'm going to change the color to red. And that looks a little bit better, but I always like to give a little bit of an outline to it. Um, so I'm going to check outline and We'll do a, a five pixel outline in black like that. It's always nice to have a nice black outline to uh, 
to make the letters pop and separate itself from everything else in the scene. So uh, figure out where you want this this text to be. I'll just put it right here beside me and you can select your webcam here and position this wherever you want. I, I tend to keep it down at the bottom since I have a green screen and it just doesn't look right to have me up here in the center. So I'm gonna just put myself off to the side like that. And then we'll open up the uh, window snipping tool. This is great for a uh, just general window capture uh, screenshot sort of thing. So uh, the next thing you gotta do is just make some sort of silly face and click new. And then once it's uh, captured, you can just click and drag across the scene and release. And now we've got this nice thumbnail that we can copy and paste, save, use in any videos that we want and uh, kind of gives it a, a little better production value and just bumps up the quality of your list of videos, in my opinion. All right, so remember, if you don't have a green screen in the background that you can key out through OBS, you can still use this, only instead of using your webcam as a source in OBS for this screenshot, uh, just take a picture of yourself with your webcam and then open it up in uh, GIMP Shop or Photoshop or Pixel or Editor and use the eraser tool to uh, delete the, the background from the image and put it as an image source instead of a webcam source. So uh, that, that's all that I have for you here. There's just a few minutes for each game series that you play through can add uh, a pretty significant amount of quality and polish, I think instead of just using random middle screenshots of each video in your list. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the content, feel free to subscribe and you can uh, get a heads up whenever I upload a new video like this. So if you have any questions about this or suggestions for future episodes, go ahead and shoot me a message and I'll hear you out. You guys have a great one.